Hello Gemini, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what's coming toward you during this current Mercury retrograde. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, please feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Also, um, make sure that you guys do view your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs because those readings could give you more clarity in regards to this retrograde. All right, so Gemini, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what's coming toward you is soulmate. Okay. We also have completion as well as the seven of cups and the five of cups. All right. So oof, there's a few things here, Gemini. For one, you guys are completing a cycle, a very emotional cycle. I feel like there's someone that you truly cared about or a situation that you truly cared about. And you guys have either laid that situation to rest or you're going to, okay? For a lot of you, this is in regards to a soulmate. I feel as though you guys gained a lot of wisdom and a lot of you have started to see through um, the illusions that this soulmate created for you. Um, I feel like they tried to pull the wool over your eyes, but I feel as though you guys are very much enlightened because you see the eye of Horus, okay? So I feel like this person just wasn't able to get over on you like they wanted to. You guys are very intuitive, but this is someone that definitely hurt you, okay? Someone hurt you very deeply. For some of you, um, they may have hurt you in regards to creating illusions, you know, things being a facade, them trying to sell you dreams. For others of you, it could be in regards to this person having different options. Whatever they put you through, this person hurt you very deeply. And I feel as though it was a deep hurt. This is not just a, you know, oh, I'm hurt. This is a deep hurt that this person put you through, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, letting this person go, for some of you, it wasn't even an easy thing to do, but it was necessary, okay? It was necessary. So keep in mind, this soulmate that you have either closed out a cycle with or that you have, um, and I'm sorry, spirits talking to me. Some of you have a loved one, a loved one. It could be a family member. It could be um, someone that you care about. This is um, a male. It's a male, an older male. So it could be um, like, you know, an older male that, that you really care about or cared about. Um, this male is with you. For a few of you, it could be a woman, okay? It could be a woman, but for a lot of you, I feel like it's a male. For some, and this is specific, for some, it's um, someone like military. For others of you, it's just someone that was very protective over you or someone that you were just very close to or you cared about a lot and they cared a lot about you they watch over you they watch over you they don't like what you've been going through with this person they don't like it and for some of you they actually your ancestors want to intervene like they want to intervene this is the first time i've saw this card in this way Okay, but spirit laid it on me, so I have to put it out there. Like I said, for a few of you, not everyone, this person is like military or something. That's not for everybody. But for others of you, this is just like someone, it's, it's an ancestor. And as you can see in the card, like this guide or this entity is literally like holding this person back. But they're watching this <sighs> Your ancestors, okay, either your ancestors, it could be a, a 
spirit guide, a guardian angel. There's someone that's watching or a spirit that's watching and they don't like, like they're very much bothered by what you've been put through in regards to this situation. If you've cried, if you have cried, they saw it and they don't like it. And and spirit is make, wanting me to make that clear. I'm actually getting chills. Like I'm looking around right now to try to see if like, you know, because I can feel the energy and um, someone isn't pleased. And like I said, for some of you, it's a female. For some of you, it's a female. But for a lot of you, it's a male. And like I said, it's almost like he's a protector. He looks over you. Um, I feel like you may have known him. Even if this is someone that may have passed away when you were younger, but I feel like you knew him. Um, some of you may not have, but it's an ancestor a po or possibly a guy that they don't play about you. I got a, ooh, <laughs> they, they don't play. They do not play about you, Gemini. And they don't like what this person has been putting you through. And they're actually, they've been trying to console you or they will be consoling you through some type of completion, some type of, some something you're putting in regards to an ending. But it's in, this is in regards to a person, someone that hurts you deeply, okay? Ooh, mm. somebody do not play about you. All right, so let's tap into the energy a little bit deeper. Like this person had this this um spirit this ancestor or this guy has a very strong presence, um impasse. Ooh, got me looking around. Joy, victim, and I'm sorry for rambling off, guys, but they put it on me. I had to say it. Workaholic, destiny, mm. discovery, perseverance. And release okay also this ancestor a guy that watches over you they're not vindictive they're not mean but they just don't play about you okay they had their their they have a good soul I just had to say that so don't get freaked out all right at the bottom of the deck we have gossip so someone's gonna want to talk to you be very careful in regards to um, the things that you hear Believe only half of what you hear, okay, or half of what you see, none of what you hear, however the, the saying goes. Regardless, there's going to be some gossip going on. For some of you, there's someone that is gossiping about you, okay, and I feel like, I feel like it's in regards to this soulmate. Like, they may be telling people that you want to expand with them. They could be telling people that they want to expand with you, okay, um, but they're talking to people. They're talking to people about it. Whoever this person is, um, they're grieving. They're grieving because they know that your perception of them has changed. You gained wisdom. Um, you guys have become enlightened. You're, you're evolving, okay? This is someone you had a lot of passion for, but they caused some type of insecurities within you, okay? This person definitely created illusions. We have facade here, okay? They created illusions. I feel like this person kept poking at your heart. They were always keeping, um, trying to keep you confused in regards to different situations, okay? But for some of you, they're going to want to come back around and talk. Spirit is saying that if this person comes back around, telling you that they want to expand with you, telling you that they want to make things work. Okay. Spirit is saying it's all a facade. It's all an illusion. Okay. Um, be careful with that. With impasse being here, this is someone that was blocking your path. This person was just in the way. They were wasting your time, okay? And it's crazy because this is someone that really doesn't want you to go anywhere or didn't want you to go anywhere if you already left, but they didn't want to do right, okay? This is someone that was intentionally blocking your path. They didn't want anyone else to have you, but they wouldn't do right by you. They held a lot of secrets from you, okay? Some of you are realizing or have realized that this situation or this relationship was at a standstill. And so I see you releasing this person. And once you release them, there's going to be a lot of joy that comes into your life. Also, a lot of abundance, okay? So Spirit is saying continue to persevere, continue to move forward. You guys are so protected, man. Guys, you have at least about three. 
three angels or three um guides around you. Ooh. Such a blessing. Okay, so yes, um this person, I feel like they were just blocking your happiness. They they weren't making you happy, but at the same time they didn't want you to they didn't want to see you happy with anyone else. This is someone that has some type of victim mentality, okay? I feel as though um for a lot of you, you would try to work on the situation, okay? You would try to rebuild the connection, and every time you did, this person would do something to you know, sabotage it. For some of you, this person, like I said, and I think I said this, they always play victim, okay? This is also someone that has caused you to discover a lot of things within yourself, okay? Um, but yeah, spirit is saying to continue working hard. A lot of you, like I said, have been discovering yourself and spirit wants you to continue to move forward with that because it's important for you to... It's important for you to continue to move forward because you're moving toward your destiny, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like even though you've either released this person or you're trying to release them, I just feel like they're going to keep at you. Like, I feel like this person's going to be coming back during retrograde. They don't want to see you go. They don't want to see you go. But yeah, you guys are on your path to discovering your highest self, like awakening, evolving. And you're doing away with anything or anyone that's standing in your path. You're not going to tolerate it. And that's really good energy. Let's see what else comes out. We have the Two of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, Justice, the Lovers, the Seven of Swords, and the Strength card. I don't like this person already. I don't like their characteristics. For some of you, this person's going to be coming back around and they're waiting for the right time to do so. This is someone you guys have learned a lot of lessons in regards to. You guys have learned a lot of karmic lessons, period, okay? And I feel as though this person is going to be coming back around trying to get things moving in their favor when it comes to reconnecting with you, okay? Okay. I do see they are going to want to come back around, work things out because this person is realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. But see, this is someone that's greedy and it's like they want things their way. They're only concerned about themselves or they're just very self-absorbed. Okay. A lot of you, um, when this person reaches out, you're not even going to be interested in talking to them. I do see you holding back. You guys are very strong spiritually. I do see that you are taming yourself when it comes to being impulsive or you're at least trying to. Um, this person's going to come back around trying to make you think that they've changed. They're going to try to make you think that um, the love is going to be different this time around. But I feel like you guys are, are not going to fall for it because you know this person is sneaky. They're literally lying. Okay, they're lying. They're being sneaky. They're also keeping things from you. They're not telling you everything. This is someone that just wants to hold on to you. It's almost like anytime you isolate yourself from this person, that's when they try to um, come in and, and keep you from going anywhere. Okay. So whenever you withdraw your energy, that's when they really try to cling on or, or try to reach out to you or something of that nature. Oh, this is a confusing person. Um, this person feels as though you're their soulmate. That's why they're holding on to you. Um, I do feel as though they do want to be with you, but see, this is just someone that you can't trust. Um, also there may be some things that you have found out in regards to some, some, 
some secrets this person was keeping from you. I feel like they keep things um, close to their chest. Like they only tell you what they want you to know. Okay. But yeah, you guys may have found out some things or you will be finding out some things. But spirit is saying, don't worry. Justice is in your favor. Everything's going to work out. And I feel like this person's going to receive some type of karma in regards to this. It may even affect their money. So yeah, spirit is saying to remain empowered, hold back from anyone that you know is not of your highest good. Some of you have new love coming in, but I feel as though when this person comes into your life, because of what you've gone through with this person, okay, trying to use a nice choice of words, because of what you've gone through with this person, I feel like you guys are not going to be completely open to love or even if you're open to it, like you're not, you're definitely not going to be diving in head first. And I don't blame you with that. Hmm. Some of you, this person was sneaking around with someone else. They had a whole nother relationship going on, a whole nother lover that they've been lying about. So whenever this person holds back from you, whenever they hold back from you, it's because they're sneaking around. They're sneaking around. Mm, it's so much going on here. There's a lot of lessons to be learned. Out of eight cards, you guys have four major arcanas. That's a lot. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, there's going to be some type of karma that affects this person in regards to their money. Their money's going to get tight. Or it may e even be in regards to someone else they've been sneaking around with. They're going to get bit by... A snake, like somebody's going to um, deceive them. And it's whoever they have been dealing with on the side. Ooh, this person has a headache. I'm getting a headache right now. Ooh, my temple is literally shooting pain, sharp pains. This person's a headache to deal with. Mm. All right, so Gemini, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.